Good morning, night number five in the books. It is a little bit after 4 a.m. this morning. We're looking at 22 degrees Fahrenheit. No wind at all. Doesn't sound like it's snowing or raining, which is a good thing. Today is gonna be the last day of this trip. I hate to even say that because I'm so comfortable out here and I'm having so much fun. And every flag you get is the potential of catching the biggest fish of your life, even possibly the state record great northern pike i started to pick up i got my sleeping bag rolled up and got quite a few things gathered and picked up because we have rain coming into tonight and for the next two days it's going to be all rain and if i don't get out today i probably won't be able to get out and the ice is definitely going to go to the heck that being said today will be the last day we're going to try to go for like a almost full day maybe three quarters day full of fish and i i haven't hit a big pike yet after like 3 3 15 so if we can make it to that that would be great and periodically over the course of the day i will start stowing stuff and putting stuff together and and getting stuff ready to go i'm up a little bit earlier than normal because i'm gonna go out and get the kids and bring them in i got a good buddy of mine jack is coming in you may have recognized jack from a couple other videos i have where he does really stupid things, which just reminds me of me not too many years ago. So that's kind of why I like hanging out with him. And the kid's just got the passion for fishing. He loves fishing. He goes hard at it no matter what species it is. And he really likes to target giant bass during the summer, which is something that I used to do a lot too. So I see a lot of potential in him. And I think it'd be a lot of fun to bring him out here. He had asked me if he could bring one of his good buddies out who I haven't met. And after swearing him to secrecy, I agreed to bring him out. Now his buddy Lance has, I think his personal best is a seven pound pike. So we're really hoping we get into some bites today and, and Lance is able to break his his previous biggest pike he's ever caught through the ice. And you know, you get him on like a double digit and he'll be hooked for life. So don't know what Jack's personal best is. I think he popped a really good one out of Sabatis, like over 40 inches once. So we'll have to ask Jack when he gets in, but... I'm going to be hitting the trail with the snowmobile, dropping my sled off behind it, the tow sled, going all the way out and getting those guys. It'll give me a good chance to see how the trail looks too, so I know what I'm up against for getting all this gear out of here today too. Primarily, we're going to target pike today with the tip-ups, live bait, dead bait. Jack's got some huge bait he wants to try out. We'll also do some jigging today. I know Jack loves to jig, and anytime around somebody who loves to jig and loves electronics, then it just drives me on to do more of that too. So it's fun to do that. We'll see if I can get those guys on a couple rock bass if I left any, and definitely get them on some crappy, and maybe we'll go out and venture out on some big yellow perch too. Thanks for tuning into this series, guys. It has been an absolute blast for me. If I didn't have rain coming for the next couple days, I would definitely be staying. It's, it's go time today because if, if you don't get out of here today, you'll never get out of here because it's got, we're going to lose all our snow and probably a good portion of the ice too. It's going to get really dangerous. It's been a little sketchy anyway, but it'll get dangerous after today. So it's definitely got to get out of here today or else you're in deep trouble. For breakfast this morning, uh, not really that hungry this morning. I ate a lot yesterday. You know, when Danny comes out and cooks lunch like that, and he cooks two meals for every person so i had two burgers yesterday for lunch which i don't usually hammer on a lunch when i'm ice fishing i'm just gonna cook up a whole pan full of what was left over for peppers onions and potatoes and i'm probably not gonna eat that now but it's cooked up and ready to go for later in the day and i'll just heat it up whenever i get hungry and uh, they also left a breakfast burrito that they brought in yesterday too so i got that too so when I'm ready for breakfast, I'll eat that, but I got the coffee perking right now. It's sounding like it's just about ready, so I'll drive a couple cups of that into me and unhook the tow sled from the snowmobile and fire up the old 370 and head out there and pick the boys up. Jack brought some pretty interesting bait. He's got a lot of dead bait, but look at this baby that he's got. So on a 15.75 on the bump board, 1.55 pounds um so we're gonna weigh with it in the mouth on the pike right yeah you can. yeah yeah so yeah what, he was trying to eat it so it's part what, of him now. what kind of brook trout is it um this is actually a landlocked salmon okay um yeah they have nice big scales um uh, pretty good eaters we caught him the other day nice 
We might have to let this guy run a little bit when he bites that. Oh yeah, that's right. I got two troubles just like that. Everything on cut angling told me. Here yeah. Uh, we're fishing for pike, crappie, and rock bass. Oh my. And today I am joined by one of my good buddies, Jack, who's very crazy. He's not afraid to break stuff, including his body, for a good video. Oh yeah. And Jack brought along his buddy Lance. Yeah. Lance is looking for his PB pike on the invasives list, which he's got to break eight pounds. Eight pounds. Jack's got one 40 inches, so that's going to be tough to break because yeah. 40s, he didn't have a scale, but it's probably between 17 and 21 pounds. So I hope he breaks that one. I really hope Lance gets a chance to break his. And we're going to go hole hopping for panfish too. Or something. Yeah, ton of backing. Oh, there's a good one. What do you think? Is he eater or is he borderline? It's an eater uh, down south, but I don't know about here. What do you? It's your your food. Uh, I got some people in town that want some. Ah, throw that one back. That's like borderline. Nice. Should I record crappy for the video? It's, it's up to you. But yeah, feel free, guys. Use that live scope. Use that Markham. Sweet. You know, there's a camera on the Markham if you want it. That's what the people want to see. Oh, is he borderline or is he thrower back? Huh? That's like an 11. It's an 11? Is this a southern slab? What, is 11 the board? The... I don't know. What do you guys think? Southern slab is. He's 10 and 3 quarters. He's going back. He hasn't moved, yeah, but he's run. Kind of so pressure. what we're going to do is we're going to wait about, we're going to give him a little time. He's off to the side yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. So you're going to get on this side. And this is octopus hooks with, with um, steel. So you can okay. give a really good hook set. You can muscle him a little bit. Now, if he's big and he gets near the hole, they do crazy Just stuff around the hole. Just let it go through your hands, okay? Don't, you don't let it get wrapped. And when you're bringing him in, you want to keep tension on him. He might come yeah. at you, throw it to the side, lay yeah. it out, so that way he might take it all back plus some, okay? Yeah. So I think right now you can, you can, yeah, all right, hold on. Okay. All right, so he's running. So now you can give him a yank. Go ahead and give him a yank. How hard do I want to yank? Pretty hard. Set that hook. Okay. It's a five off. You got him? Yeah. Now lay it out to the side. Yep. Lay it to the side and you, you're standing on this side. Keep fighting against him. Is he still there? Yeah. Okay. Well. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming because he's probably coming at you. Oh, okay. And then you're going to have a surprise. Right, so keep run. throwing it out. Yep. All right. So you're to where you started. I don't it think may, he's a big one. It may just be bait. Now nah, keep coming. Go nope, as fast as you is. can. He's a little bit bigger. Now if he takes it, let him go. No, no it's just big. a little guy. All right. Big. All right. Well, you're on the board. It's a good start. Yep. I got two. You got one up, way up. Way up. That guy's got to eat. Here he comes. Here he comes. That a boy. That a boy. Finally. Pretty good one, huh? Yeah. Feels like it. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good one. one. That's a really nice good one. Nice one, Lance. Keeper? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's over 12. Sweet. Bingo! Nice. I got I got the, his little brother. Yeah. yeah that's a good now one. I can actually see my. Yeah, show that to the camera. Yeah, you got the little one. Nice one, Lance. That is. All right. Nothing. Bingo. Yeah, that's a little bit bigger. That's probably it is. close to thirteen. Yeah. yeah. That's big for I'm here. Just waiting for the big one. That's all. I don't blame you. Decent one. Another big one? It's a good size. This does this looks like a pickerel. Oh my gosh, I can see. Get him, get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> ah, he's coming oh dude, way. I think that's a pike on me.
You can take that one, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. And this is steel. You can give him hell. Okay. See there? Yep. All right, so okay, come a little closer to the hole. Jeez. And lay it down. It does not feel big. Okay, keep it coming fast, then. Yeah, okay. it's big. Is it bait? No, no, it's fish. No. It's, it's just big. small. No, it's a big one. No, it's small. It's big. It's yeah, small. if it hasn't stopped you yet. No, it hasn't done anything. Another hand. Oh, there you go, there you go. There they are. There they are. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was insane. Was that awesome or oh what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's crazy. Is it a good one? No. No. He's chubby. I hope I didn't take all the I mean, good ones. I mean, that's still probably 11, oh, yeah. 11 yeah, plus inches. Yeah, they came in hot. Jack, they're coming to you. Yeah, these aren't the droids we're looking for, but they're fun. Yeah, I got a little one. There's one coming over to you, Jack. But look how pretty they are. These are like the Canadians. Look at the stripes on that, Jack. See it? Oh, so close to tripling up. There's a He's just fluffing himself up. I mean, people would kill for these. They're all seven stripers. Yeah, what the hell? This thing has so many stripes. Oh, wow. One, how many is that got? Three, four, five, six, seven, but that's almost a what? double eight. They got a lot of one, doubles two, here. Three, four, five, six, Ooh. seven. Yeah. Look at that one coming. Oh in. gosh! Yeah. Don't count that in double. That's oh, he's coming to you. Line. That's a good one. What? How do you that's, miss that? That's a really good one too. I'm gonna catch his little brother. We could throw these back. I, I was just throwing. Oh yeah. That's that a good. Is. That's a jump oh, ball. That, look at the belly on that sucker. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, I missed one. Wow. They followed you all the way up to the top. Did they really? Yeah. Hey, we should get some weights on these big ones. Maybe one a little bit bigger. This than one that. feels okay. Yeah, that's a jumbo. Oh my gosh. You could you could keep these and eat them if you want. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're wicked good eating. Really? Oh my god. Just yeah. fillet them up. Yeah, they're everyone, way better. Everyone can hate yellow parts. Yeah, they do. For no whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jesus. He was already launched. Sorry. <laughs> Throw them all back. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'd already launched it. I didn't want him to spine you. There's coming my way or something. Yeah, throw that one too, will you? I'm the only one that likes a clean hole. Oh, did they just leave? There was that, like that five. That is crazy. When they, I didn't know they were that crazy. Oh, yeah, they're nuts. That's insane. Dang it, they just left. you got to have a bait down there and keep them all active. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think I was a little little late. So was you were late. Just stripes on my fin. Yeah, they yeah, were already gone. Striper. Oh, did you? Well, it was eight and then it had the double. But yeah, that's weird. They have so many more stripes than they come back. One over up over by Jack. That's a pretty good one, I think. Oh yeah. See it? it does look good. Oh, there's a little one on oh I gotta get the bigger one. Oh he's coming. They're racing. Oh they're coming. Oh get down there, get down there. A lot of them coming in now. Got him. Nice. I think he's decent. There's another one. I think he's all right. Oh, I want that one right there. That's yeah, that's a jumbo. You got a jumbo yeah, too? I think so. Tungsten down there, it seems like. Yeah, a good one. Look at the size oh. of this one. No, that was no, it's not even that. Look. <laughs> oh, that's why. Can you believe that? No, no. It, no, it came off, flung up in the air. Oh, really? Way back down, hooked him in the fence. Yeah. That'll fight. That's insane. That guy went straight down. Now five others came in. Perch fishing's fun, ain't it, boys? It is. They're way more aggressive. Perch, yeah, crappy pike, togue are the only things I put through the ice, honestly. And togue is. I respect togue, but I don't really get the chance to fish for them. Now you're going to oh. catch one because there's two. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Ripped it right out of his mouth. No! Dang it. You got him. Jack, double up. Nice. Yep. Mine's bigger. This one. Than yours. Maybe not. Not much. Still bigger. Oh, we took him. Oh, look at that. Another one? Yeah, it came right up off the bottom. You'll be fine, Joe. Then went back down. 
Right, well, thanks for bringing them in for us, Lance. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll catch them. No problem. Oh, jeez, that feels all right. Wow. Oh, look at this one come up through. This actually doesn't feel too bad. Those are big, big shakes. Yeah. Oh, oh there's two more. It's a smallmouth or? No, nope, that's just a big Whoa. one. Wow. That's a big one. You think that's uh, oh, here 14? We go. Here we go. No. Here we go. no. No, we get them bigger. What? That was a good one. You guys want to catch a 20 pound pike or you want to keep whaling on these? Yeah, we like tripled up. Bike. No, I like these curves. Did we? Nice. Okay, you can stay here. No, no. Triple, can we quad up? Can we quad up? Yep, we can quad up, guys. Oh my God. Quad. Quad. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, oh really? Jumbo! Jeez. What do you think, Jim? What's going on out here? We are whaling the tiger trout. Really? Yeah. Look at this Jumbo. Who fished out here before? Me. Not for a pike, just coming out here in tiger trout right. fishing. This one feels pretty good. You yeah. To back that trap up for me. Yep, you got it. He's either got a lot of fight in him or he's good. I think you got a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, but I can hate pulling him straight out. Get that in my bag. I'll grab him if you. Oh, you want to grab him? Yeah, I'll grab him. What is he, eight, 10 pounder? 10 yeah, pounder? Probably a little better than 10, maybe. Yeah. Where is he? I'll get right behind the gill. Yep. Nice one. Yeah, he's over 10. That'll work. 12 and a half. 12 and a half? Yeah, that's a good one. Almost, Tina. It's built for how short it is. Yeah, they're thick in here. All right, that's a nice fish. Go. He's gonna go. There's a good one down there. Big head shakes, big jumbo yellows. Double up, double up, Jack. Who's the odd man out? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, nice one, dude. Couple jumbos for you. Odd man out, gets his hole trashed. Ow. Ow. Oh, he get you? Yeah. That might be the biggest, huh? I'm glad you guys like doing this. Oh, yeah. I, I love doing this. Yeah. Awesome. Best way to purchase. fish, in my opinion. Yeah. If I could catch a pike, that is. This feels like really good. That looks like a good one. Really good. Oh yeah. Nice Ooh. jumbo. Not many stripes on that one. That's a normal one. No, yeah, it's not. I feel like the other one was the same size, but had eight. Show it to the camera. Kill him. Free getting stabbed again. <laughs> Ouch. Nice. That a boy Jackson. About time. Yeah, I know. First one I've seen him catch. First fish you've ever seen him catch. Right? How many stripes that guy got? Right. Okay. How is he going? He's got seven. You gotta let him go out here. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, bill. that's a good one, Jack. Oh. 
How many stripes? That's insane. You better weigh that one. You think so? That might be the pig of the day. Or this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stripes. No, throw. I wouldn't even weigh if it only had eight stripes. Yeah, this one's only like a pound. I like that. He catches and throws them in the office. <laughs> he catches and throws them in his. And I don't have to worry because he don't catch them. Nope. Got him. Got him. Oh, there's a big one down there. Get that big one. That's a good one. Right between them. Yep. <laughs> <Pretty> <laughs> Uh, talk about poaching. <laughs> Jack, talk about poaching, huh? Yeah, there's a little bit of real estate there. <laughs> Jack, you got one. Set, set. Oh, oh you I missed know. him. Oh, I know. Oh, maybe he's coming to me instead. I just missed him. I don't even know where my jig is. There it is. This is the one you missed. He came right over to me. You guys ain't getting any more. Little What's the phone number for Operation Game Thief? <laughs> there is a nice one down there. A really nice perch. Oh, I can see myself on light scope now, too. They call it a Good jumbo. Oh, you got him. I think I got him. Is this the big one? Oh! That's pretty long. Oh, it's only seven stripe. Oh, seven stripe. Uh, no good. I know we got Rickman over here. Three, four, five, six, seven. If you could splash some slush in with it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So you guys like this perch jerking, huh? Oh yeah. Nice. It's fun catching fish. It is fun catching. Did you feel that ice just break under your feet? Oh yeah, a little bit. We had a good one the other day. Did you? Oh my god, we were like all... actually now there's ten on the screen. There's ten on the screen. This will be our first triple. Come on. I get bit. Me too. Oh I got one. We got a triple. No way. Yeah, they were on there long enough. No. Oh. oh you both lost yours. Oh man. And here I am you catching lost. jumbos. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a big one. Big old yellow patch. Man, that's, that's it's, a lot of stripes. It's too bad we caught so many, or I'd keep take <laughs> some of these home. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. Twelve. Yep. Huh? That's yeah. Twelve stripes. For real? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see it? I didn't see it. Oh. Uh, you'll see it on the Holocom video. Holocom camera. Yep. I'll slow mo it for you. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. <laughs> Isn't that how you guys learn? Oh yeah. There's still a bunch down there on the bottom. You got to get to them. What happened to our triple? You guys both let me down. <laughs> got him. Got that him. feels all right. Oh, we got a double or a triple? Come on, come on, Lance. Come on, Lance. Don't let us down. Come on. I got mine, Jack. Nice. Mine's oh, bigger. Mine's bigger. Bigger than what? Bigger than yours. Baloney. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Check it. Ah, uh, he went down. Lance, you're letting us down. All day long. Gary wouldn't put up with that. No, he would. <laughs> Josh <laughs> doesn't do that to Gary. Seems like it. I'm going to catch one in three seconds. Boom. Yeah. All right, there's the first one. Who's doubling up? Come on, man. Play, man up. Right Look at this. Am I going to have to do the double myself? Oh, oh. All right, Lance. Oh. Nice, Lance. Now come up this time. Get him. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Nice one, Lance. Jack, there's no bottom to that hole. <laughs> oh, triple? look at that. Triple? We triple. We got because triple I threw it in the wrong hole. Yep. Go ahead and... We might get a quad. We might get a quad here, guys. Here we go, quad. You see the... The V. Oh my gosh. Isn't that like beautiful? Three. Yeah. They got like a V. Wow. I've v. never seen half the What's like? that? The Vs. See the V? Oh yeah. Isn't that awesome? That's pretty. These are, these are just such pretty yellows. Look at all the yeah, Vs on that side. 
Oh, Holy God. cow, that's the most V's I've ever caught. One, two, three, four, five, six V's. Oh, I never noticed that before. Six V's. Wow. Seven. Seven V's on this one. Good one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice jumbo. You guys didn't do anything Jack, do you have one way up high? Uh-huh. Way up there, too, and he still hasn't eaten? Oh. You know what? He just turned the game to me. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Snake you. Mr. Steal your perch. Oh, I missed him! Ah! You shot. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Huh? Nah, nah, nah. Got him. That was yours. Small. This one was yours, buddy. That was a small Whoa, one. got him. Like nine inches. He's got 11 Vs. <laughs> 10 on the re-entry. I stole your perch. Ooh, a copy? Yep. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Look at that. Crappy. Wah, wah, wah. How many stripes? 11. Nice. Who gets this one? Oh, sorry, dude. Well, you didn't catch it. You could have caught that fish. That's true. We can. So feel for him. Right. And if he's there, give him a yank. Oh, he's. Oh, man. No. Oh, man. No. He's nothing. Looking up at us at the hole. Come on, Lance. Be there. Oh, boy. He did take some line. Yeah? Oh, got him, but he ain't big. Oh, he, oh, there we go. That's a little bigger. Watch oh. your foot. Watch your foot. Watch oh, your foot. Whoa, whoa. Here we go. I need line. He needs some line. I need line. Big time. All right. Now that's, you got steel. That's definitely the biggest one that there was. Don't start weighing him until he's on the ice. Okay. Hey. That ain't nothing. He's tiny. Oh, yeah. He's pulling. Good one? Yeah. No, thank you. So just lay that line right down, buddy. Oh, yeah. You got some good head shakes. Oh, uh, you're at the start. Get a little closer to get over the hole. Yep, and keep keep them on the other side of the hole from you. And now if he makes a run at the hole, let him go. Oh, it's a giant. It's a slob. Let him go, 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 let him go. We'll do that a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's a good I one. I thought he was coming up there. Watch your jack, jack, you're on the line. Yep, so you're just, as soon as you get his nose, we can get okay. him out, okay? Okay. So you're going to keep doing that. You're doing a good job. Yes. If he freaks out near the hole, you got to let him go. All right. Now bring him up. Yes, sir. New PB. Yes. Nice one. Look how oh fat that gosh. guy is. Yeah, well, he's got three shinies in yeah. his <laughs> Jim, you got your scale? Yep. Holy. That a boy. Awesome. Watch your thumb if you're anywhere near his yep. gills. That's awesome. Oh, gosh. Nice. What do you think, Lance? I love it. That's your new PB. It is PB. Yeah, he's over eight for sure. I like oh, yeah, pike fishing. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. 12, 13. And yeah. 14. Nice. Nice. 14 pounder. Woohoo. Check him with my scale, too. Okay. Yeah, 36, 36 and a quarter. 36 and a quarter. 36 and a quarter. Sweet. Something like yeah. that. Yep. Did you get a picture? Yeah, yeah. look at that one. That looks like a pig on that. Yeah, it is a pig. Good. That's what we want. So it we is a like pig. It. All right. Now you're going <laughs> to let him go. It's been out a little while. So you're going to hold the tail. Okay. Yeah, just put him right take, down and unhook that. Yeah. Don't unhook it over the hole. Hold the tail where you can grip the tail. Really good. Grip the tail first. Grip okay. the tail first. Okay. Yep. Put his head under. And you're not going to flush him up and back and forth. That's okay. bad for a fish. Just kind of hold him. Let him get a couple breaths right about there. Okay. Go a little lower. Wait right there. Wait right there. Okay. I'll give it a second or two. You feel any power? Nope. Nothing. There he oh, goes. He's ready. There then he goes. Slowly just take your hand off. Let's see if he waves goodbye. Yep. Nice. nice. That's see you. awesome. And then you say, see you later, big gator. See you later, big gator. Nice. That was awesome. All right, slimy nice high show. fives. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I hate to even leave it all, but it's getting late in the afternoon, and 
I'm starting to pack up to get the first load out of here and then I'll come back and get the tent, the floor, the heater, and the bait cooler and get that out of here with one, with just one sled. Right now I'm hooked up tandem. Got a small load back here. Decent load right there. And there's the old 370 2001 Panther. Power, Panther power. But we're looking pretty good. Uh, shouldn't be too long a turnaround trip. And then I'll come back in and get the rest of it all pretty easy in, in the second load. Splitting up with the boys here. They're heading on their way. Do you guys have fun today? Had an awesome time. Yep. Wicked yeah, good. Thanks for, thanks for taking yeah. us to your spot, Joe. It's a freaking awesome spot. Yeah. Nice, good. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Glad you got a PB. Jack slay, slayed a ton of fish with a jig rod. Yeah. Yeah. Had a great day. Had some good opportunities, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah when you're big fish after fish. Jack, Jack knows when you're big fish fishing, you don't always get a lot of flags. It just happens. Yeah. I had bait the size of the panfish we were tossing. So <laughs> bigger. Bigger. Bigger, yeah. bigger yeah. than most of the panfish we yeah. were catching. So uh, I knew I probably was going to get a flag, but yeah. it'll be worth it once I do. she looks ready oh man that's gonna do it for this trip guys i'd love to stay out here the kid in me would have stayed and i would have got stuck out here and bad things would have happened losing ice and not being able to get out till the next snow which is who knows when uh trail starting to get pretty soft as it is then we're gonna get a couple days of rain so gotta do it getting smatter in my old age we'll see but thanks a ton for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed it you know, these, uh, these invasive species have been here a very, very long time. The pike have been here 50 years and, you know, people have lived and died in the, the lifetime of these pike. They're here to stay. It's an awesome fishery. It's, it's a great uh, asset to the state of Maine. It brings in a ton of money and they're in warm water fisheries for the most part. They're not hurting the trout or salmon populations. If you're really worried about the trout and salmon population, start looking at conservation around the lake, the land, and keeping the phosphorus out of the lakes and maybe building less camps and lawns going down to the water and, and uh, getting good clean water for the trout and salmon because that's where they're hurt, hurting the most. The crappie are like a super bonus for the state. The state still doesn't know it yet. The rock bass, I guess we could do without those, but they're here. They came down through New Hampshire, I guess. Luckily, they haven't spread outside of this body of water. And the funny thing is, every single game warden I've ever seen fishing on their day off is fishing for pike. And every single biologist that I've seen fishing on their day off is either for crappy, and then in one instance they came behind me and tried to catch some rock bass after I'd caught them and they'd heard about it. So they're pan fishing. And it's just, it's kind of ironic where they spend so much time and money stocking these, these hatchery brook trout and and uh, salmon and all the ones that I know of spend their time fishing for pike and for crappy and that's not knocking them because that's what I do too you know like I, I do enjoy catching brook trout and especially your natives or your great big ones and I like catching salmon too but it's a lot of fun going out and trying to trick these pan fish into biting and really just trying to catch a fish bigger than your leg so Thanks again for tuning in, guys. As always, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I get back to everybody. I don't know how many YouTube channels do that or not, but I always get back to every comment. And if I don't get back to yours, I either missed it or if it was really bad, I had to delete it. You know, everything's positive on this channel. We try to keep things positive. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Till the next trip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rock bass, 
Yeah. <laughs> 